guys, welcome back to Warren's Model Aircraft. This is update 2 on the Edward BF109 E1 132 scale. Um, done quite a bit since uh, my first update. I think on the first update I'd only done. What did I do? Um, I, didn't, I hadn't done much on it really, I thought there weren't a lot on it. I think that was it. I just had the cockpit dials done, I had the cockpit, the seat and the, the the stick and a few of the bits and pieces in and a bit of chipping. Um, it's moved on quite a fair way since then. Um, if you haven't been following on my Strike Eagle model sharing on Facebook, um, there's quite a few pictures I've put on there over the past week and a half um, and now I'm going to share it on YouTube on my site on here. So, let's have a quick drink and I'll show you what I've done. Right. Bring in a bit closer. Right. There we go guys. Now I think we've just been gluing this on. The fit, the fit on this is absolutely terrible. Gary did a video the other day, and he said that he did an aircraft, and every video, every video, every part of the fit he did on this aircraft was testing him to his ability, and I'm. This isn't that bad, but there seems to be an issue with every single thing I'm doing. But I think the only thing I didn't have an issue with was when I joined the fuselage to the other fuselage. That went on okay. It was a bit overlapping here. It was a bit lipped, so I had to sand it down here. Um, when I put the wing, when I put joined these wings on here, they didn't. The fuselage, the fuselage didn't fit. Zoom on. I don't like <clears throat> Yeah, the fuselage here didn't fit, so I had to sand that down on both sides. Um, there's that there underneath. I've nearly got it flush, but I'm going to have to sand that down sort that out but obviously there must be something that goes over this here there's got to be because it i haven't got that far yet but it looks a bit naff if it is um that's not really a lot of filling to do i've joined it here but there seems to be this i haven't even glued this because it wouldn't even fit so i'm somehow going to try and push it well i'm gonna have to try and Bend that bit down, sand it and fill it. Um, is there any the roots in there? I'm gonna run some corgi filler down that, just a slight bit so it gets rid of that lip. Um, other side. There will be some slides on this, so there's the engine. And I put silver silver dry brush on there on the head of the engine block and on the corners I've done that it's all looking neat there will be a there's chipping on the gun cartridges as well see if I can, see if I can get these dials in there's the cockpit There will be some slides afterwards anyway. There you go. And I've just stuck this on. It's not glued on. Um, it won't. It won't turn when it's in when dry fitted. So I'm going to have to glue that in. I thought it might be on a pin, but it's not. So I'm going to have to glue that on. 
I've had to sand quite a lot of that down as it was lipping over same on the the top here I had to sand that down quite a bit um, yeah, I've done the weathering up inside there already that's aluminium these pieces here there's like a black bit inside if you can see it that's a separate piece you have to glue in that's a separate piece you have to put in as well so it's the same there and in there I put an aluminium on there I put two coats of um, accolade varnish on or lacquer and then I put an oil and grease MIG wash on it so that's done <laughs> and obviously I've done I've just glued the flaps together and that on there um, that's that's my progress it's it's coming on quite quick now I've done all this process sticking the fuselage together the wings I had to put these on these are separate pieces these didn't fit properly they had like a there's like a a bit that's a pin there and there what's supposed to lock into the what's on the inside of this here I had to chop them off sand it down and just glue them in because they just w would not go down flush and they wouldn't sit level or anything so I had to cut those off sand them down put them in clamp them in and then sand over them afterwards to flush them off and they've, they've come out all right now and they've turned out all right obviously they go underneath as well there which I'm going to probably sand that down and maybe put a bit of filler in that Right, hey guys, that is the progress. Right. Oh. <laughs> right then, guys, um, thank you very much for watching update two on the Edward BF109E1. And I'll see you on my next video. Um, thanks very much for watching. Um, you can also catch me on my Strike Eagle, Strike Eagle model sharing on Facebook, which I put on day-to-day -day updates or every other day updates, more updates on there than I'm doing on here. <coughs> okay then guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you soon.